Hi everyone and welcome to our third and final lesson in our Unit 12 on Professional Development. In this lesson we are talking about our digital communities. This is leg Lesson 12.3. So our objective in this lesson are to identify the value of personal network to job seekers and to evaluate the influence of digital communities on the continuing professional development of a workforce. So let's talk about networking in the digital age. Your network is really your net worth. And it's all about building connections in the digital world. Forget just online applications because most jobs are found through, uh, through networks. So in this, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna explore the power of connecting in the digital age. So it comes down to the power of your personal network. Picture a web of connections. That's your network. It can unlock countless opportunities. Now, some benefits to your network include job leads, professional advice, and industry insights. And some sources for, the network, for your network include your friends, your family, your classmates, colleagues, and even online communities. But why do these personal networks matter? Why do they trump job boards? Well, it's because your connections believe in you and in your potential. They know your skills and your value and can offer additional connections through their own networks. And very often, people trust word of mouth recommendations more than other options. So let's talk about uh, these digital communities, expanding your reach you've got to go beyond your immediate circle. Digital communities connect you to a wider world, and they include things like online forums, professional groups, and even social media platforms. It gives you a chance to connect with individuals based on shared interests or industries. And it's also places where you can exchange information, participate in discussions, and build relationships. But choosing the right digital communities is a is a very important thing because not all of these communities are created equal. So it's best to choose wisely for effective networking. So some relevance is matching your interests and career goals, the activity level, looking for engaging communities with active discussions, and professionalism is also key because you got to maintain a professional online presence. So you want to cast a wide net, but focus on quality connections, not just quantity. This is where you find that right balance between efficiency and value. Target communities that are relevant to your field and engage in meaningful, meaningfully in meaningful discussions and offer value. This gives you a chance to build genuine relationships and not just collect contacts. So we're gonna. So let's take a deeper dive into some specific platforms and see how they can benefit your network. We're going to explore these pop, some popular digital communities and take a quick review of sites like LinkedIn, X, formerly known as Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and online forums or industry groups. So let's start with LinkedIn. This is the professional powerhouse. The network type is primarily professional. And uh, this is the go-to platform for professional networking. It's where you can connect with colleagues, industry leaders, and potential employers. It also is a place where you can showcase your skills, experience, and recommendations, as well as participate in industry groups and discussions. Now, why is it useful for employers? Well, recruiters actively search LinkedIn for potential candidates, and employers can verify skills and experience through recommendations and endorsements. Next is X, again, formerly known as Twitter. This is where you can stay informed and connect. The network type is a mix of personal and professional. And uh, this is where you can follow industry influencers, thought leaders, and companies, participate in relevant chats and discussions, share your expertise and insights, and stay updated on industry trends and news. And why is it useful for employers? Well, it's where they can assess a candidate's communication skills and engagement in with industry topics and also helps employers identify individuals passionate about their field. Next is Facebook. This is community connections. 
It is primarily personal, but it can have, you can have professional groups on Facebook. So this is where you can join groups related to your industry or interests. You can connect with individuals from diverse backgrounds, participate in discussions and share relevant content. Why is it useful for employers? Well, it provides insights into candidates' interests and values and can help identify individuals involved in their communities. Next is Instagram. This is where you can showcase your visual skills. This network type is a mix of personal and professional. This is where you want to create a professional profile showcasing your skills and your work if relevant. It's also where you can connect with industry professionals and companies. And you want to use relevant hashtags to reach a wider audience. Now, as far as its usefulness for employers, this is where you, they can assess candidates' creativity, visual communication skills, and brand awareness. It's particularly useful in fields like design, marketing, or photography. Finally, there's online forums and industry groups. These, are per, these are, can be professional and specific to cho chosen fields. This is where you can take a deep dive into specific industries or, spe or skill sets by joining online forums and communities. You can engage in discussions, answer questions, and showcase your expertise. You can also network with like-minded individuals and potential employers actively seeking talent within your niche. So why is it useful for employers? Well, there, this is where they can find highly qualified candidates with specialized knowledge and passion for their field. And they can also gauge a uh, candidate's problem solving skills and ability to contribute to industry discussions and also uh, attract talent actively engaged in online communities relevant to your company's needs. Now, an example of an online forum, uh, if you recognize the logo that's there, that is Reddit. Uh, and Reddit can be a valuable tool for professional networking and gaining industry insights. But because Reddit is so diverse, it's crucial to use it strategically and responsibly. So what about action steps? Let's start building your network. You can build, start building it now. Take action to build your online presence and engage in those digital communities. Those digital communities offer endless opportunities for networking. Remember to focus on quality connections and provide value to others. Make sure you have continuous engagement and relationship building because these things are crucial. Create your professional profiles on those relevant platforms. platforms. You can join online groups and forums related to your career goals. And you can also participate in discussions and share expertise with insights. And again, well, you can connect with individuals who share your interests. All right, so that is our last lesson in our uh, unit 12 on professional development. This 12.3 lesson is all, was all about digital communities where we identify the value of personal networks to job seekers, and we evaluate the influence of those digital communities on the continuing professional development of a workforce.